Welcome back to Views with Hughes or Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So we see here that for a while Disney has been on the decline, not only the company itself, but also Marvel Studios. And now we're starting to see more confirmation that Lucasfilm may be coming to bring it upon its own death. Okay. So we see here on Bound in the Comics where it says that Star Wars declared worse and woker than ever after confirmation of intimacy coordinator hire for the Acolyte. So basically an intimacy coordinator, someone who is responsible for how certain romantic or even possibly sex scenes are going. OK, last I checked, this was a family friendly platform. But then again, Marvel Studios did bring after they when they since they purchased the rights to all the Fox um to 20 century, 21st Century Fox, they also got the rights to the movies from Marvel and everything, including Deadpool and Logan, and they have them on the platform right now. So this is no surprise since they made that move. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the upcoming Star Wars series, the Acolyte. Excuse me, helmed to by former Harvey Weinstein assistant Leslie Helen had an intimacy coordinator as part of his production. All right, so if you are, so it says here that Sarah Putt Associates, which describes itself as the leading UK independent agency, represented behind the camera technical and production talent from producers and directors through the heads of department. And crew, so we can see in this picture right here what we're talking about. So the person who's the intimacy coordinator is Adelaide Waldrop. Okay, so she has on um, many ways, including the acolyte. Okay, so it says here that if you're unfamiliar with intimacy coordinators, um, SAG after or the Student Screen Actor Guild Actors Guild. Notes that the position is an advocate, a liaison between actors and production and movement coach and or choreographer in regards to nudity and simulated sex and other intimate and hyper exposed scenes. The union specifically details intimacy coordinators act as an advocate. Um, so in other words, it's basically somebody who's responsible for, to make sure that things don't go too far between the actors as well as actors and directors, actors and um, producers, so on and so forth. Make sure that no one is um, left uncomfortable and they are also there to make sure no loss was being brought up and everything. So they're basically toning it down on any possible sexual harassment um, in between scenes or like rehearsing the scenes for different movies and shows. Okay, so it helps the performance and other production on personnel adhere to proper safety, pro safety protocols, serves as a resource and realizing director's vision, so on and so forth. But further, the union relays intimacy coordinators should be hired in scenes involving nudity or simulated sex or upon request for, for other intimate and hyper exposed scenes. Okay, so it's like this is. Pretty much controversial, you know, pretty much controversial in, in a manner where they, it was supposed to be, you know, this is the same company Lucasfilm that says that they're reaching out to the children. A lot of parents out there are concerned about this, even those who are Star Wars fans, okay, because we all know that parents have introduced the children to Star Wars. Heck, we've seen it on social media, and even on YouTube, where the scene of children who are young, as young as four years old watching, um, Watching, uh, watching the scene where Luke finds out that he his Darth Vader is his father in Empire Strikes Back. Okay, so it's like since that's the case, and we also see that a lot of kids are watching Mandalorian and everything. Kathleen Kennedy, as well as Leslie Headland, are now saying that there's a need for an intimacy coordinator. That there's going to be possible sex scenes or possibly nudity nudity i don't know not many details about that have been revealed matter of fact let me go back up here to the um picture of it so um it wasn't any mention of any like nudity or nothing when it comes to the need of a lead intimacy coordinator okay so what exactly does this mean we all know that 
the Mandalorian ratings are not doing so well at the moment. And uh, the Acolyte is pretty much the nail in the coffin right now. I'm starting to think that John Favreau, he may not um have much as much control as we thought he would. I, I may be wrong. He could, or this might be a bit of a, a, a peak moment for him. I hope not. All right, because I love John Favreau as a director, producer, actor, so on and so forth. Okay, I love his work. But I must admit, I did watch the new episode of Mandalorian, and the scene where we have the two quote unquote former um Empire um Empire um aides and soldiers and everything, that was boring. That wasn't needed. That was unnecessary. And I hope like if it I had it was so bad I had to fast forward through it until we saw Man, Mando, Dendry, and um um Bo Katan at the ending. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to pick up on with when it comes to the ratings, whether it be like people fast forwarding through it or turning it off altogether, you know. But let me know your thoughts about this in, in the comments below. Do you think that the acolyte may be the nail in the coffin for Lucasfilm, or will it be something like Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny? Okay. Also, what do you think would be the only way that can bring back all the Star Wars fans? Please go ahead and provide that in the comments below. Also, if you if you dis if you feel that I went wrong in the video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this what I shared in the, in the video, go ahead and smash the like button, share it far and wide across social media. Also, if you have done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates and one more announcement. Catch me next Thursday, March 23rd. I will be on WWE's um, live stream episode. I'll be there at 5 p.m. sharp, okay? So be on the lookout for that. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.